Okay, so we did. We, we knocked out all that. That was kind of fun, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How about um, we do some wind shear? Yeah, you went like flaps one. Wind shear is always fun. Yes, flaps one. I got you. I got your. Uh, I'm gonna take you off flag freeze, guys. So okay. set your parking brake. Get off flag freeze. Okay, no more failures. Let's go into environment. Now I'm telling you we're going to wind shear, but I want you to treat it like just like you've right. been doing. Okay. So, and remember, full app, you will not stall this airplane. So, unless it's an alternate law, or not in normal law, but it's gonna be a normal. So let me give you some microburst fun stuff. <clears throat> Let's see here, wind shear and microburst. Let's see which one I want. Oh, you that one right there. Okay, I like it. All right, so if there were wind shear warnings in the area, low level wind shear, uh, or if we had a high temperature uh, difference between temperature and dew point, and dry air, or gusty winds, and let's just say we have that today, something like that, number one, we would brief the escape maneuver. Number two, we'd talk about the wind shear. Number three, we'd talk about maybe not even going until we, it was gone. And lastly, we would not do a flex takeoff. We would do a full rated takeoff. We want full power. We do not want flex. So what I want you to do on this one, even though it's flex, take off in toga. But it, just because you take off in toga, when you hit the wind shear and you get the wind shear uh, warning, you still say toga and push the levers up just right. in case. Just think of the Cali crash in the mountains. If they had, if their callouts would have been more standard of max for the escape maneuver over the mountain for 7.5, for American, if their call would have been max thrust spoilers in, they might have caught those spoilers and cleared the mountain. Okay, so even though it happens, I want you to do it. All right, who's going first? We're ready. Uh, I'll go. Okay, Grant, so you ready? You oh, you're good. All right, hey, the winds are uh, 180 variable to 260, 21 gusting to 42. Low level wind shear uh, is in effect at the airport, and uh, last aircraft reported a 20 knot loss on landing. You're clear for takeoff runway 18 center. Clear for takeoff 18 center. Thanks for all the good news. Yeah, there we go. Right now, because it's a training event, we're going to go. We're going to go. We yeah. might not go yeah, normally. There we go. All right, you're good to go. SRS or the flight director will give you guns. Oh, sure. Interesting when you clear, keep pitching up. You got speed, yeah. Keep pitching up so you don't overspeed the flaps. See how you're gonna overspeed. There you go. All right, I think we're out of it. You can go flaps zero. Make sure you have a positive trend before you do it, though. You have a negative speed trend vector right now. Get it there. Very good. Now, flap zero. Yeah, flap zero. Flap zero. If you guys escape a wind shear and you overspeed the flaps, nobody's going to be that upset. I mean, it's not going to be great. They can do a maintenance event for you, but you know, overspeeding is just really a good idea not to do if you can avoid it. And, and also realize if your speed's that much, I know the flight director's driving you somewhat, but like that's energy. Right. Climb away, get away from the ground. Very good. All right, I'm going to put you back in the inner runway, and it'll be John's turn. Same thing. 
Great job. You can see how the rotation on this airplane is a lot different, right? Yeah, it's way different. It's way different, yep. But that, that was a very good rotation right there. All right, John, your turn. All right. Okay, John, All right. I am giving you a different wing shear than Grant. All right. Way worse one. <laughs> I'm just going to fly the plane. Yep, just fly the plane. That's all you can do. All right. Everything ready. You're off flight freeze. Hit your takeoff config button now. A lot of stuff doesn't work when you're off flight freeze. So hit your takeoff config uh, on the ECAM panel. Right there. Yeah, get that <laughs> test. Of, there we go. All right, John. Are we ready? Ready. All right. Uh, just one, same wind shear warnings. You are clear for takeoff, runway 18 center. Clear for takeoff, runway 18 center, just one. Check thrust. Thrust is set. Airspeed's a lot. Just for fun, go full aft and hold it. That's going to be your uh, max CL. Just hold it. See how it will not stall? So it watch the nose stop dropping to protect you. And it's also an alpha floor. There you go, you're out of it. Now you can pitch over. Get back to a normal pitch attitude that you would expect on a jet for a climb. If you want to get that toga lock away, uh, turn the auto thrust off, and there you go. That's the way to do it. You just get now turn it back on for him, Grant, or it goes away. There you go. And there is your flip speed. Flip zero. Very nice. So the reason I had you do that, John, versus what Grant did, is I wanted to show you guys how you a you can't stall it when it's a normal law, and it got you out of there quick, didn't yeah, it? Got it. It's yeah, really instead of falling the SRS. Yeah. And two. You didn't have the big speeding, you didn't give away all the speed and get close to overspeeding the flaps that time. I'm not saying that's good, bad, or indifferent. It's just, I just wanted to show a different way. That's it. You know, neither one of you overspeeded the flaps. That happens a lot in here, and that was good. All right. Are we good with that, or you need to see it again? Yeah, good. Oh, I can give you something really bad if you want, but if not, we'll move on because we, we've checked the box. All right. Let's go to Reno. Uh, not most. We got a couple of takeoffs to do with the boards. Oh yeah. Yeah, and then we'll go to Reno, and that will be pretty quick. Here we go. Here's runaway through uh, recall. Boom. All right, you're repositioning. Gear down, idle. 